people, people, people. Que pasa, suck, pasa, what they do. Welcome to the True Jamaica Boss channel where I speak about this is not your grandma's channel. This is not like Perkins in the morning. However, this is news with an edge. We perk up your morning. Now, the first thing that is popping in the news is that we see that we catch a two foot puss, we catch a kleptomaniac, we catch a fingersmith. We are speaking about on CCTV and people he is trying, or as a matter of fact, he stole a lady's purse. We are speaking about with her identity. We are talking about identification and what possibly cash that she had. So, people, take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my peace. <laughs> Now, people, I am sure that you have identified that the person in the white cap, baseball cap, that is the person that I am speaking about. That is a kleptomaniac. That is a fingersmith. And people understand as it pertains to the social distancing protocol, that would not be a friend of a kleptomania because people, we say, they like to close mark people. Them like to basically scope out. We are speaking about their victim. We see that he is prowling. He is all over the place. His eyes are up and down. He is watching everybody in other place. However, it seems like he did not see the camera. However, we see that he was playing his role. Him go to the left, him go to the right, and wait for the opportune time for basically pounce on this lady the purse and we saw that his hand made its way we are speaking about in the lady bag like a little slippery snake and kind of slid that away and also master lady purse people we are talking about in i'm shots now when you look at videos like this it only shows you the level of scumbag shit that exists in a jamaica because people you see people out there suffer people are not even working people are not getting their full salary so whatever money they have they are basically living from hand to mouth and they are working very hard we are speaking about for a minimum wage we are speaking about most of the persons you see shopping in these wholesale we are talking about the chinese wholesale them however it seems like some people they don't want to look any work they don't want to get any sort of education however they want you to work hard and then them come and take your things as easy as one two three however sometimes we we have to basically blame ourselves and people don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. I am not saying that you make anybody rob you or anybody take advantage of you. I am just saying that if you live in a jungle, we are speaking about in a jungle-like setting, as it pertains to this garrison, you have to be careful because if you are not careful, we are speaking about predator and prey. And if you get caught slipping, you are going to basically get catch. We are speaking about you are going to lose. We are speaking about your personal stuff. We are talking about your money your phone rate lele blue blah bling and people in this case we saw that is exactly what happened 
So my point is that if you know that you live in a garrison and you know that a lot of these garrisons have a lot of thieves, a lot of predators, why would you even go in a wholesale with a bag like that? May I talk about an open bag that is not zipped up, that is not locked properly. You are only making yourself into a prey. You're only making yourself easy for people to take advantage of you and people. In this case, we see that that is the case. However, people, we saw that the video basically caught him. However, people, we see Say, you know say how this channel run we have all the information so people the name of that person his name is brown and this incident took place in spanish town and brown is from ensom city so if anybody in ensom city knows brown and can identify brown please report it to the pope and also tell brown that whenever he is on candid camera or klepto camera he should always smile point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before i move to the next part of my video please subscribe to my next channel it is called jamaica dancehall source one word don't put any space between the words and also i am going to be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video and also subscribe to this channel we're speaking about true jamaica buzz and when you subscribe please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option now the next thing that is popping in the news that we see that Two of the three men that were conned up and slapped away, we are speaking about in Swallowfield a couple of days ago, they have been identified and they are 40 year old Clinton Jarrett and he is said to be from Cambridge, we are speaking about in St. Andrew. And the next person, we are speaking about an elderly man, we are speaking about a 71 year old man and his name is Kenneth White and he is also from a separate, we are speaking about place other than Swallowfield. Now people, when I saw that video yesterday, and like I said, sometimes I get these videos before everybody, and sometimes I do the video without getting the proper information. So yesterday when I did this video, I saw this man sitting on a chair as the persons rolled up, we are speaking about in the AD wagon. And people, I said to myself, why didn't this man run? However, I've realized or come to the realization that this was an elderly man. He was 71 year old and he might have basically got shocked he might have been shocked and awed when he saw these men jump out of the car with some tall up. We are talking about some A to the K. We are talking about some M to the 16. We are talking about some 9. We are talking about all sort of pie pie. He was shocked, so therefore he couldn't move. And maybe he also had some other sort of ailment. We are talking about backache, arthritis, rete, lele, blue, blah, blah. Now, people, what was even more disturbing about this whole thing? is the fact that after these men ran into this lane and basically blazed it up when they were coming out we are speaking about one of the purse we are speaking about one of the assailants he saw the man sitting on the chair and people like i say he was maybe about 10 feet away so therefore he should have seen that this was an elderly man however people we say so it did not make a difference so my point is that it did not dawn on him that this was an elderly man that is basically living on borrowed time. We are speaking about he has already done his three score and also ten. So we are talking about 70 because like me say him at 71, the man still put it on him. May I talk about with rapid, we are speaking about with a taller. So people, it only shows you the cold and callous way. It only shows you that these persons are indiscriminate. So in other words, they don't care if it is an elderly lady, an elderly man, a pregnant woman, little picnic boy, girl, rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. We are talking about in front of church. We are talking about in front of school. We are talking about in front of popo station, courthouse. It does not matter. Anybody can get it at any time. We are speaking about they are an equal opportunity. We are talking about victim maker. We are speaking about dopey maker. And like I said before, these assailants, they rolled up in a Nissan AD wagon. Now people, when I talk about the vehicles of choice, I am speaking about the Nissan AD wagon. May I talk about the Axio, may I talk about the Tida, may I talk about the Probox. And if you realize, most of these CRIMES in Jamaica are committed out of one of those vehicles, are using one of those vehicles. So people, it seems like there must be some sort of stereotype. It seems like there must be some sort of criminal element some sort of jinx that are associated with these cars. So people like me say, you can expect to hear a remix, the type of cars that criminals use by our next, we are speaking about plagiarism blogger. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing. I 
as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news that we see that some employees from the BPO sector, we are speaking about those call centers, they are complaining that they are being exploited. They don't feel like they are treated like humans. And um, people know that since the Big C, a lot of persons, especially in that sector, because of the spread of the Big C, they are working from home. However, these employees, they are complaining that if they are at home and light gone, or we are speaking about the internet gone, they don't get paid. They get paid for a pay by performance. So therefore, if they are not registered or we are speaking about signing to the system, therefore, they are not going to get paid. So in other words, if one day their light go out for the whole day, we are speaking about 24 hours, they don't get paid for that day because they are not logged into the system because, you know, sir, we are talking about the internet, it needs electricity. So people, we are speaking about, they are being penalized for something that is beyond their control. So we are speaking about exploitation in the worst form. Now people, when we think about these places, we are speaking about these BPOs, we would have thought that most of them were owned by, we are speaking about foreign companies we are speaking about foreign corporation however most of them are owned by some uptown people in jamaica and um, people we see that they have the same attitude we are speaking about unfair we are speaking about exploitive attitude we are speaking about this classist attitude where they take these business in and then basically exploit their own jamaicans we are speaking about as employee because the truth and the fact is that you know that most of these bpo companies when they come to jamaica they come to jamaica because they realize that persons are desperate so therefore they can offer minimum wage to these people and because they are desperate they would rather to work than not to do anything at all so anyways people my point is that if these persons are making a lot of money and they are and I understand that since this big C thing they are basically losing a lot of salary or a lot of income however all I am saying is that if you are making a lot of money you should also spread the blessings we are speaking about at least make sure that these workers are also compensated properly or equally and i understand that the owners of these business they are the risk takers they are the investors so therefore they are supposed to get the lion's share of the profit however stop exploiting your own people however stop having that slave master mentality point blank and period and what the workers are also saying is that since they've been working from home, their light bill has gone up. We are speaking about 100%. However, they are not compensated. And they also complain that they are on call 24 hours. When they sign their contract, they are told that they are on call 24 hours and they can't take it or leave it. And people understand that whenever persons are desperate, they are going to sign that dotted line even when it is not beneficial to them. However, like me say, desperate times cause for a desperate measure. So people, the moral of the story is this. We are calling on the prime ministers and the relevant authorities to make sure that whenever they bring these business establishments in Jamaica, they do not exploit the citizens of Jamaica and that they are paid fairly point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up